So what we're going to take a look at now is Angular Services. And what we'll do, let's just clean up our tabs at the top. And in our Solution Explorer, inside the App folder, what we'll do is we'll just create a new folder in here. And I'm just going to call this underscore services. And the reason for the underscore is really just to keep this folder towards the top of our file system. It's just very basic folder organization. Our services are going to be shared across many components and we'll create all of our services inside this single folder. This is one way of organizing the folders inside our app. It doesn't have to be this way. Folder organization really is left to the developer in the main part. And I just like to keep the services grouped together in this kind of app, a relatively small app that's not overly complicated. We'll just keep our services inside here. Now what we'll do is we'll go back to the Angular CLI and what we need to do is just clear this screen and we're going to CD into our new services folder. And then what we can do is use the ng generate command once again, but this time we're going to create a service. So what we can do is say ngg and then we can say s for service and we're going to call this service account. And once again, we're going to skip the tests. So dash dash skip dash tests and press return. And this goes ahead and creates a service called account. It doesn't update any files. All this has done is simply created a file called account.service.ts. And if we go and take a look at what's been created and we'll take a look at what an Angular service is. So a couple of points, first of all, we've got an injectable decorator on this. This means that this service can be injected into other components or other services in our application. What we also see is this metadata called provided in root. Now, if we take a look at our app module, then we have a providers array, which is empty. Now in previous versions of Angular, we would have needed to add our service inside here. But in current versions of Angular, we use this provided in root instead. Now an Angular service is a singleton. When we inject it into a component and it's initialized, it will stay initialized until our app is disposed of. The user closes their browser, for instance, or they move away from our application. At that point, our service is destroyed. But if they stay in our application, then this account service will stay initiated through the lifetime that the application is around. So what we're going to do inside this service, this is going to be used to make requests to our API. So we're going to give this a base URL property and we're going to set this. So when we want to set this property to something, we use equals. If we wanted to make it a type of something, we would use a colon. But if we just want to set this to something, we're going to use the equals to assign the URL to the base URL. And once again, spelling is important. So we're going to say localhost and 5001 forward slash API and forward slash. So please don't deviate from this spelling here. What we'll do then is we're going to inject the HTTP client into our account service. So once again, we'll say private HTTP and then we'll bring in the HTTP client from Angular common HTTP. And we can see this has been automatically imported at the top. What we'll do then is we'll create a method inside here and we're simply going to call it login. But the login is going to receive our credentials from the login form from our navbar. So we'll just call it model and give it a type of any for the time being. And then what we'll do is we'll say what we're going to return from this. We're going to return this.http.post and then we need to say this.base URL. Then we specify the extras for the URL. We need, we've got the API and the forward slash here. What comes after this is account and then login. So we need to say we've already got the forward slash in the API. So we just need to specify account forward slash login. Now, because this is a post request, our post is expecting us to provide if we hover over the post, we need to provide a body in this request. And in this case, what we want to send up is our model. 
This is going to contain our username and password that we send up to the server. And this is the very basic structure of a service. A couple of key points I want you to think about and remember from this. First of all, services are injectable. Secondly, services are singleton. The data that we store inside a service doesn't get destroyed until our application is closed down. Components are different. When we move from component to component in Angular, they are destroyed as soon as they're not in use, whereas a service is a singleton. And we typically use services for making our HTTP requests, but we'll find many uses for them as we develop this application. What we're going to take a look at next is injecting this service into a component so we can actually log in.